Well, it's morning and welcome to Rice Road Greenhouses. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about fall closing of the ponds. Well, not necessarily closing, but what do we do in the fall with our ponds if you own a pond? First thing we want to do is if you're using any of your beneficial bacterias, you want to continue using them. Don't stop using them. You're much better to put them in your pond than leaving them in this bottle for a winter. They're living organisms. They'll do much better in your pond. Your pond will be much better off for it. Uh, other thing you need to do is it's fall and the leaves are going to start coming down. You want to keep the leaves out of your pond. So the ideal thing is pond netting. Just put some netting on it. What I like to do is put a couple of poles across my pond, rest this on the pond, um, or rest this on the poles and stop it from uh, really sitting in the water. Some people do, but I just prefer to keep the netting out of the water. Fish food. we got to keep feeding our fish. we got to continue feeding our fish. Uh, but what happens is once the water gets under 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius, you want to go to a, a higher protein fish food, which is a fall type food or a winter food. Okay. Um, the reason you want to do that is uh, this will help build up immunities. And in the spring, when the immunities are weak and the pathogens are strong, uh, you run into some fish problems like ick and other diseases. So give them a good protein diet going in once the water gets cool. Okay. One of the other items we need to do is keeping the ice from freezing totally over. So you want to have an opening in your ice. As we start seeing ice forming, you can put in your de-icer or your pond aerators. This keeps an opening in the ice. Uh, reason you want to do that is once it, uh, you have leaves in the bottom of your pond, you may have uh, fish poop in there. Lots of fish poop, you got lots of fish. And you may have uh, just a buildup on the bottom. That will create gases. If it seals completely off with ice, those gases could not exhaust out and you won't get oxygen in. The fish will die. So remember to keep an opening in the ice. There's a couple ways to do that. It's very simple. De-icers are thermostatically controlled. As it gets cold, they'll kick on and they're much they're uh, energy efficient nowadays. So they'll kick on as needed. And these ones have an LED light so you can tell it's running. Uh, this one just a circle, it keeps a little hole in the ice. And, or you can use your pond aerators, which are actually bubblers. They're little compressors that create bubbles. Uh, uh, you might have seen this up north around the docks and the, and, and the lakes. And so these are the two ways to keep your pond ice open. Okay, we also need to deal with our pond plants. Okay, uh, so if you got water lilies, just leave them in the bottom. You don't have to touch them. They're fine the way they are. Uh, if you have something like a can, a, a can or a callus or anything like that that are not really winter hardy, something like that you can take off and it, it is uh, it needs to be brought in and cared for so you can cut it off store it dry it up just like a regular can or a calla but many of your perennial pond plants I like to take mine out and I'll store them in my garden and I'll throw some mulch over them or leaves whatever just to protect them for the winter that's once you've had a couple frosts once spring comes and you're back in there your yard working unearth them put them right back into the pond it's that simple